Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Wabbit and welcome back to part two of my seven day countdown to the pre-sequel on Borderlands. I almost said Borderlands 2 again. I mean, that's gonna, that's gonna, it's in, a, in about six days, that's gonna start to become a real problem. But anyway, today um, this is gonna be kind of a two part, I mean this is like a seven part video basically, but this is like many parts within the parts. There's like, uh, for today, basically what I want to talk about well, first of all, let me start off for you guys. If you guys did not see the first, uh, my first one that I uploaded yesterday, I'll be uploading one every day until the until the pre-sequel comes out next Tuesday. And it's just kind of like, it's it's basically just a discussion of me talking about a bunch of different things, like things I would want to see in the game, things I don't want to see in the game, things that are already in the game, and my opinions on them, stuff like that. And you guys are welcome to suggest stuff in the comments section. I'd be happy to, I'll try to incorporate every single comment I do. Like every suggestion, if I haven't already, I'll try to incorporate it, all of them that I into a uh, video. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Uh, basically, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is kind of the the mechanics, like the the physics and the physics and the mechanics in, that are new in this game, as opposed to Borderlands Two, and some of the things that I think are cool in this game that are not in Borderlands Two. Well, first of all, obviously the gravity. The gravity in this because you're on the Pandora's moon. There's no atmosphere, so you're, you're gonna have a lot less gravity. So you, so when you jump, you do. You, you can see there, like you, you don't have that much jump in Borderlands 2. And when you fall down, you fall much slower. Um, you, you do have the slam ability, which we'll talk about tomorrow. But because basically what I want to do is I want to discuss, like, I want to today I want to discuss just like the physics behind the stuff and the mechanics. And tomorrow we'll discuss some of the new. Uh, skills, features, stuff like that, that that they've put into the games, like and new uh, equipment and stuff, like the Oz kits and all that kind of stuff. But you will see these things sometimes, those little launch uh, panel things. If there's a big canyon like that or something that you need to get across, you will see those, and those will launch. And I do believe those can actually launch uh, certain vehicles as well. And the vehicle is another thing we'll talk about tomorrow with the new stuff that they're adding in the game. But um, so yeah. Uh, another cool thing about the uh, gravity is I think it does affect everything, like not just you. It if well, first of all, specifically, it will affect you even if you're down. Like if you're down, you will still be affected by like when you crawl off a ledge to get revived by your teammate, you'll just fall down really slowly. Or if you go into second wind in midair, like you're about to see here in a second, you uh, you float down to the ground. It's really weird actually. But you see, uh, he goes down into second wind in a second, and then it it he just like floats down to the ground. It's kind of be kind of weird. I don't know. I guess if you can get lucky and your teammates below, you can jump off a ledge or something like that before you go down. Like go down in midair and have them revive. Maybe you can see right here. Like the gravity does still affect you. The low gravity does still affect you while you're while you are in midair and whatnot. And I believe it. I think it affects items too. So I think that the items kind of spread out a little bit more, which could be a problem if you're farming for a legendary or something like that. And it goes into one of it, like the volcano. That might be an irritating factor to have to deal with, but. Um, anyway, I just want to show, show you guys also real quick, it's coming up here in a second, the, uh, the enemies are also affected by the zero gravity just as much as you are, and they'll, they'll take advantage of it, obviously, they'll, they'll like the Goliath leaps like from Borderlands 2, but they'll be in much like more slow motion and stuff, and my favorite part about it is if you kill an enemy, and like you, like you kill them with like a melee attack or something like that, or an explosion, they'll like, their body will go launching through space, like did you see that, like you see this guy's body, it's like... I just think that that is just so funny. I think that's going to be a lot of fun with like the power fist or the uh, on Wilhelm the Hyperion punch thing. I think is what it's called on Claptrap and stuff like that, and just a bunch of the explosions like the Vengeance Cannon that Wilhelm has, and uh, it's just stuff like that. You can like punch them and they'll like float off of a cliff or something like that. And probably with the low gravity, you could probably uh, push things a little bit farther. So you could actually with a vehicle or even sometimes maybe depending on how powerful your melee attack is, how much knockback it has, you could probably knock enemies into a, a volcano or something like that, which would be kind of funny. But um, so basically that's really all I have. Just wanted to, to basically, most of you guys know about like how the gravity is less and stuff. That's pretty much all there is to it, but it is kind of cool how they incorporated that into the game. And the next thing I do want to talk about is the oxygen, which is... Uh, obviously essential to survive, unless you're claptrap, I mean, well, I'll get to that in a second, but you can see that oxygen bubble, as soon as you step outside of that oxygen bubble, or any oxygen, as soon as you go outside of a building, 
will have that little, you'll see a little film across the door, and as soon as you go outside, you'll see that little mask animation. And when you're outside in, in a vacuum, the other players in the game will actually be, if you have other players in the game, they'll actually be able to see your mask, like when it goes on and off, they'll be able to see the difference between it, the, uh, between that mask. Now, you really don't have to worry about oxygen, like even when you're, when you're out and you're not in a, when you're in a vacuum, like you're in an area like this, there's really, the, I think oxygen, you can see there, there's an oxygen canister right there. Oxygen is a fairly common drop. It's basically about the same rarity as like health or ammo from an enemy. So the oxygen canisters will be dropping all the time. So there really is not too much of a, there's really not too much of a need for a, like you, and even when you do take damage from oxygen, I'm pretty sure it's just like a little bit. It's really, I don't think, I don't think it kills you fast. You can definitely find some oxygen before then. Another cool thing about the oxygen also you saw there, you can see here when he jumps, he can you can actually use the oxygen as sort of a jet pack. Or if you hold space bar down after you jump while you're in midair, you can uh, you use some use your oxygen to propel you, like your oxygen canister, like basic which I guess actually the, the physics behind it actually makes sense, which I think is kinda cool. Um, you can find these uh, these little these little uh, pod things that create those uh, bubbles around you like this. You can co create these little portable oxygen bubbles and stuff. And so like Whenever you're in an oxygen environment like this, your oxygen will constantly replenish until it is full, and it will not go down unless you uh, use the oxygen as like a, as a propulsion system, like while you're in an oxygen zone, or if you go outside into the va into a vacuum, and you'll see your uh, little helmet thing come down. That's how you know that you're just, that you're using up, using up oxygen again. Now the cool thing about Claptrap is that he does not use up oxygen at all, like because he, he doesn't he's a robot, so he doesn't actually take oxygen. So you can actually just use the jetpack thing to its, its fullest extent with him. Like, probably get to some places you couldn't with other characters because he like, flies across the map, which I think would be kind of cool. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is even, I mean, oxygen really is not going to be that much of a concern, even though you're out in a vacuum. You can see these, like, there's, like, these oxygen vents, like, near the volcanoes. You can see right here these, these vents that shoot out oxygen, like, volcanic geysers and stuff like that, and not to mention all the little bubbles and stuff. Uh, there's different abilities, I think, where you like do the slam ability or something like that. There's one of the Oz kits that does something where it like, creates a bubble when you do the slam. For some, like, and I don't know how long it lasts for it, but I think it it'll, it lasts it lasts a decent amount of time for you to actually replenish. And then you can, not to mention, you can always find these things like all over the place. Like These things you will uh, see quite often, I think, outside, I'm pretty sure, during the missions. Now, the cool thing that I, I found with the oxygen, besides like the jetpack and stuff like that, and the realism of that, the cool thing that I discovered, although I'm sure a lot of people have discovered, but I don't know if you guys know this yet. Here, let's take a look at, this is a fire weapon, and you can see he's using it against the flesh enemy, and the enemy is not catching on fire, and no matter how many times you shoot that enemy, it will not catch on fire, because, I don't know uh, how, how much you guys know about, like, science and stuff, but if you're in a, in a vacuum and there's no atmosphere, that means there's no oxygen, which means uh, fire needs oxygen to burn. So a fire weapon will not be able to ignite an enemy like this. Like you see, even though it's a flesh enemy, I, I'm pretty sure it still does that like extra bonus damage like because it's a fire weapon, but I'm not positive. But I know that it actually there will be no elemental effect from a fire weapon ever if you're in a vacuum. Like, ever. If you're outside like in, in the vacuum with, with no atmosphere, unless you have an atmosphere, you will not be able to light things on fire. Now, if you're inside one of these bubbles uh, or you're indoors, or you are like within one of the vents, the little volcanic uh, vents, the oxygen vents that are near the volcanoes. If you're within those areas and like to, to the point where you're not using up oxygen to breathe, then you will be able to light enemies on fire. As you can see here, you can see you can light enemies on fire while they're inside. So even, though, even though he's an armored enemy, it's resist, but he does light on fire because it's indoors and the elemental effect does, the elemental effect chance does actually take effect while you're indoors. Even in, even in these bubbles like this, you can see here in a second, he, uh, this this person lights this guy on fire. I'm not sure. Where, I don't remember which skill this is. It's one of Nisha's skills where it's like a. It's, it, I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't remember what it was. But you see there, uh, lights the enemy on fire while he's inside the bubble. Like he flies into the bubble, and then as soon as he goes outside the bubble, it looks like the fire goes out and he just dies. So I don't know. Uh, not sure if that. I'm not sure if that actually has how that works, but I know that the fire will not work unless you're in an atmosphere, which I actually thought was really cool of them to do. I didn't even think of that, like when they were doing the no atmosphere, like the oxygen stuff, that didn't even occur to me. And But I think that's so clever that they just came up with it. I just think that's such a clever thing for them to actually come up with. I think that's really, really cool. 
And uh, basically, this, like I said, the slam thing is, I'm gonna count that as an ability. We're gonna discuss that uh, tomorrow, as well as the vehicles and some of the new equipment, like the Oz kits, some of the new uh, different types of weapons and stuff like that, and items and stuff that you can find around on Elpis, which is Pandora's moon, which is where the story takes place. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And like I said, guys, please, please, please comment below. Let me know exactly what you guys want to see so I know how to, like, how to proceed with this series because I still have five more days of this. So you guys, if you guys have any suggestions and stuff you either want to know my opinion about or you want to share your opinion about or just stuff that, that you just want to, like, want me to, like, because you, you don't really know much about it, I'll try to, I'll tell you guys what I know and if I don't know much I'll try to I'll try to research it and see if I can find some information on it and if I can't then I'm uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I just don't know but hopefully that we'll be able to figure some of this stuff out I think it'd be kind of cool I think I think this series is kind of a good idea it's just like recapping all of the it basically getting me more excited each day as I'm doing these videos for the pre-sequel which is next Tuesday so by the time Tuesday comes around I'll be so I'll be really really excited to play it and I will, so I'll actually be able to, to be able to play the game and just record it and just have fun doing it but anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy this like I said <laughs> I've already said that um, I will leave a link to the actual playlist this this uh, countdown of the pre-sequel playlist down below so you guys can ch check that out if you want to if you so desire and I will talk to you guys tomorrow with some more information about some of the new uh, items and vehicles that can be in the game that'll be pretty cool see you guys later peace